I want to talk about one of the biggest mistakes, one of the biggest misconceptions in chemistry. So many people think that the number of protons in an atom always has to equal the number of electrons. Okay, let's say I'm making a video and I draw an atom like this. Okay, it's got four protons and two electrons. I put an atom like this in my video and before I know it, there are tons of comments and they all sound like this. That picture is wrong. It has four protons and two electrons. In an atom, there always has to be the same number of protons and electrons. Well, I don't know what to say, but this just isn't right. It's just not right. There are lots of times when the number of protons and the number of electrons in an atom, when they're different. When an atom or a group of atoms has a different number of protons and electrons, it has an electrical charge, and we call it an ion. An ion is something that has a charge. Now, you probably run into a whole bunch of ions just in your study of chemistry. For example, there's Cl-, which is chloride. It has 17 protons and 18 electrons. It's got that one more electron, so it has a one minus charge. Or Mg2+, it's got 12 protons and only 10 electrons. Those two extra protons give it a two plus charge. We can also have groups of atoms that together don't have the same number of protons and electrons. We call those polyatomic ions. So those are things like ammonium, NH4 one plus, which has 11 protons altogether and 10 electrons altogether with a one plus charge. Finally, phosph phosphate, PO4 three minus, has 47 protons and 50 electrons. We've got three more electrons, so it's got this three minus charge. So clearly there are tons of examples, and these are only a few of them. There are tons of examples of atoms and groups of atoms that have different numbers of protons and electrons. So then where does this misconception come from? Why do so many people think that atoms and groups of atoms always have to have the same number of protons and electrons? Well, I think this might be the reason. If an atom is electrically neutral, which means it doesn't have a charge, that atom does have the same number of protons and electrons. And a lot of times we assume that atoms are neutral. So if somebody asks you how many electrons are in oxygen, you might take a look at the periodic table, find oxygen. This number up here is the atomic number, which gives you the number of protons. So we can say that there are eight protons in oxygen. Now, if we assume that we're talking about an electrically neutral oxygen atom, then this atom is also gonna have eight electrons. Eight protons from here equals eight electrons. That assumes that the oxygen is electrically neutral, but that's not always the case. It doesn't have to be that way. For example, instead of having eight electrons, we could have 10 electrons. This oxygen could pull in two extra electrons, and in that case, it becomes an O2 minus ion. So here's the point. Atoms don't have to be electrically neutral. They can have charges. Yeah, if they are electrically neutral, then their number of protons and electrons, they are the same. But if they're not, the protons and electrons vary, and we can get all different types of ions with different charges. So. If you run into an atom with different numbers of protons and electrons, it doesn't mean that that atom could never exist. It just means that you're talking about a charged atom, an ion, something that has a charge.